Hi, everybody. This is Mike Rucci, Senior Product Manager at Blackbaud and uh, the Tapestry product. Today, we're excited to show you a demo of the new integration between our eTapestry product and our Just Giving product. It is a brand new integration that will seamlessly uh, transfer data from Just Giving into eTapestry on a nightly basis. And so we're excited to show you about it. Um, I'm going to show you some screenshots first of the actual setup. I'll actually go in and show you the setup area, but I want to show you some screenshots since I've already got my database set up. Um, we walk you through the integration setup. Uh, we provide an API key inside of Just Giving that actually says uh, eTapestry API key that you'll be able to take and plug into this area here. Then you'll be able to put in some emails of people to notify when those transfers happen. Moving on, um, this is one of the kind of the key areas uh, where you're able to actually uh, either be generic and have a default fund campaign and approach of, of all of your just giving gifts coming into eTapestry, or you could actually um, be a lot more um, get a lot more detailed and, and pick a specific fund campaign and approach for each just giving event that comes in. Again, you're setting this up so that when the, the data seamlessly flows into eTapestry nightly, it'll automatically be marked with that. This is an area right here, and I'll show you again in just a minute, where you can go back and make changes to easily and update it when you have new Just Giving events. Then it's a matter of, of, of determining which historical data you want to bring into eTapestry from Just Giving. So, for instance, if uh, you've been putting Just Giving data into eTapestry already, then you would choose no historical data. If you've never done that and you want to get the just, all your Just Giving data into eTapestry into one central location, then you can say all, or if there's a specific date range that you're looking at, you could, you could do that as well. Once you've, once you've set that up, we kind of give you a, just a summary of of what you've done, um, the choices you've made, and we ask you if you want to run the Just Giving uh, import starting uh, nightly, uh, and we'll even put the date there. Or you can start this or set it up and then come back to it and, and actually start it up later. Again, this uh, import runs nightly, so it's really kind of a setup and then it runs. Uh, no, you really have no uh, information that you have to really worry about. Uh, one of the things that we do on the first run is send an email to the person that is uh, uh, notified and we give you the information uh, about the data that has come in. Um, so how many accounts were added, how many accounts were updated, how many donations added, fundraisers added, et cetera, per, all the way down to participations. This is really a good part to just let you know the eTapestry uses our um, uses our duplicate checking uh, to match existing folks in your database. So it's not like we're just going to blast a bunch of new people in there and then you're going to have a bunch of duplicates. We check uh, based on name, address, and email and find duplicates. Those that match at least two of those items will be considered a duplicate um, and that, that will be added to that existing account and a new account will not be created. Another thing I want to point out, and it's something that we'll see later in here, but um, this complies with all the GDPR um, rules that uh, we have over in the European Union. Uh, we bring that information over uh, from just giving into eTapestry so that you can track that information as well. So now let me switch over to the actual eTapestry live product. Um, you'll see this is the eTapestry homepage here. Uh, I've got some, some nice things here, top donors, rec recent gifts. And then over here, um, you can see a fundraiser performance on a specific fundraiser we're tracking. And you can see kind of where we're at towards that goal, 40%. Um, I'll show you the, some of the transactions that make that up in just a second. But first of all, I'm going to hop over to the management area, and you'll notice there's an integrations area uh, now, and you'll see a Just Giving integration. Um, this is the same information that we saw on that email or, or through that setup. Um, you'll notice that you can actually pause the integration if there was any time that you actually wanted to stop it and then restart it. You could for whatever uh you wanted to. We've got some settings that you can edit, who gets the email um, and the API key. We've also got mappings. Uh, these are all the mappings that we saw before. So if I wanted to change uh, my default fund or campaign, I could do that, my uh, uh, default approach. Or if I wanted to specifically choose a p uh, fund for, let's say, the Yorkshire Marathon, I could choose one there. 
if I had a specific fund or campaign or approach. So that allows you to go in and, and choose those those items so that you have a lot more uh, detailed, specific uh, reporting capabilities in eTapestry. So now I, let's go take a look at some transactions. Um, first of all, I'm going to go to um, Kristen Lawrence. Uh, and I'm going to go to her journal page. And the reason I chose Kristen is because she's actually a participant. And what you're seeing here are all the people that have given transactions to Kristen um, as for her fundraiser. She's participating in the in this fundraiser, the 10K in 2018. And you can see all the transactions that have, that have come in for her. Um, you can even see a transaction from Kristen uh, that she gave uh, actually to someone else that's participating in that event. And if we go down here and I'll load some more transactions because Kristen's got quite a few, um, we can see Kristen's participation. And this is, this is when we click on here, uh, the participation that she is doing for this 10K, the date, and we even see her participation goal. Um, and then her, the display name of the page. We can also see some other information that comes in here, a just giving page ID. We can also see the URL and we could, we could go to that URL if we wanted to, to see the actual page. And we can see the team that she is participating with. Um, you'll also notice that, that we can also tell that this came in from our just giving, um, our just giving uh, import that runs mm -hmm. nightly. So we can find that information about Kristen from a participation. Um, let's go back to her journal and let's take a look at a specific gift here. Um, I know this one for sure, Kim Hammer. Um, if we go to Kim's screen or Kim's gift there, uh, we can see that there's a soft credit applied to Kristen for five pounds. Um, and we can see that it came in with the general annual uh, general fund annual campaign and just giving approach. If we want to actually see that trans, uh, transaction, we go over here to the original transaction and let's go look at that specific transaction because there's a couple of things I want to talk to you about on this. One is uh, obviously it's the fundraiser that we talked about. Another one, fundraising donation message. Um, you can see that uh, what she puts there or what has been put there by the donor. Um, you can see that we track that back to Kristen so that we have that link there. But some of the key information here that we have is, and, and this is uh, again, drawing your attention to the GDPR information. We've tracked that in this case, Kimberly wants to be opted out of just giving. Um, so we, she's, she has uh, chosen that and we've tracked that from just giving over into eTapestry. And then we've also tracked the consent statement so that we can have that on online. But we also track what, ID page it came to, what was the transaction ID, all these things link back to just giving so that we can keep a good track of that. You'll see that we have um, the just giving net amount um, and the amount with boost, boost meaning that you know you can you can say that you want to cover some of the cost of the transaction. And so we have that there. And then you can also even see things such as if this was gift age uh, gift aid eligible um, and was tracked in just giving then we track that information so that you know that you can that is being handled in just giving um, versus being handled in the tapestry side so that's that's kind of the uh, this is the gift that came in that's kind of the the participation um, part that, uh, you know, we can track as well on, on Kristen's side, a couple other things. And I think I can show you this, uh, pretty easily by going back to our homepage, because you'll notice that our top donors of the year is just giving anonymous donor. We know that there's a lot of times on the just giving side that people mark anonymous. What we've done, um, is when that information comes into eTapestry, those transactions come into eTapestry, we've created an account called Just Giving Anonymous Donor. And that way you can have that information, um, you can have all those transactions, but we didn't wanna create an extra, a bunch of extra uh, accounts in your database. So we've labeled it as Just Giving Anonymous Donor. Those transactions come into that account um, and you can then you know, go get the details on those if needed. A couple other things just to make you aware of and, and uh, is that under queries, you'll notice I have a just giving um, 
uh, category here that I've created and I've got a specific query for this fundraiser or I've got I've also done a query of all just giving gifts I can preview that um, all just giving fields that we have looked at and have you I've been shown to you um, all of those have are have the ability to be uh, queried on and reported on so you'll see here's all the transactions that we're talking about um, for that, uh, for this, uh, or for this uh, fundraiser that we're talking about. And you can even see uh, some of the participations uh, in there if we want to go find other folks. I just did this query just on the fundraiser. That's why you're getting participations in here as well as the gifts. Again, the same thing if you would go over to reports um, and wanted to do a custom report, if you will, um, in you know report category and a custom report you can report on anything there i do want to draw your attention to some standard reports we have for specifically for uh, fundraising we've got the fundraising activity summary the analysis report and participation summary these are canned reports and because the tapestry uses some of the fields that we've used in the past to, to be able to track peer-to-peer -peer type of fundraising events we can use these these uh what we call canned reports and they're really good analysis about your data so that's an exciting thing as well. So you don't have to go create your own report. Um, you can do a query and add what columns you want. You can do a custom report or you've got these, these standard reports right here. And lastly, just one more thing I want to want to draw your attention to is our DIY forms. Um, and the reason I want to draw, uh, draw your attention to DIY forms, and I'm going to go ahead and create a quick page here so that you guys can see um, what well, what I mean here is that um, when we go to create a, a, a DIY form on the event side, uh, we allow, we have this question now, allow registrants to fundraise with just giving. And when I click that, I can choose a specific um, fundraiser. Now what this allows to do is, is if you're having this event and I as a uh, participant go sign up to participate in this event by clicking that box and choosing that specific event. When I submit, then it will take me back to the just giving side of the house and take me to, to set up a fundraising page specifically for that event in just giving. So we kind of make the, the complete trip there from actually registering for an event uh, with the organization all the way back to allowing them to set up a fundraising page with Just Giving for that event. And then obviously when people make transactions to that page, then that data flows in to back into the eTapestry system like we've been looking at right now. And again, creating that entire loop of um, round trip for uh, the event. So uh, that's what I wanted to show you today. Um, there's lots and lots of things that uh, you can do uh, uh, with eTapestry and your events and just giving. Uh, again, the three things I think that are important for you to know. One is the complete trip, uh, round trip of not only a registering event, but raising with just giving with the data coming in that is raised coming back into eTapestry, that the, the GDPR is taken care of and tracked so that you, you can ease your mind on that. And thirdly, maybe the best part is you set it up um, and then you let it go. And every night uh, that data seamlessly comes into your eTapestry system. So that's what I wanted to give you a demo about today. If, if you have questions, you can um, ask your um, sales folks and I'm sure they'll be able to answer anything that any question you have. Thanks a lot for attending my quick demo of the eTapstreet Just Giving integration.